CAT 2024 LRDI section slot free. Now this was one of the sets from overall CAT 2024 which was based on complete data interpretation and calculation. Set was easy but calculations were very lengthy. If you are not smart about these calculations, it would take so much time to calculate the exact value even using the calculators that you will regret attempting this type of sets. But if you are smart about it, you can solve all of these questions very quickly. That's where approximation comes. So let's, let's see what we can do in this question. It says out of 10 countries, country 1 through country 10, country 9 has the highest gross domestic product which is also known as GDP and country 10 has the highest GDP per capita. GDP per capita is the GDP of a country divided by its population. The table below provides the following data about country 1 through country 8 for the year 2024. So strange right? Country 9 is mentioned, country 10 is mentioned. But in table, country 1 through 8 has been given. So what do we do about country 9 and 10? So don't pressure on these things unless you have read whole question. So let's try to read the rest of the information. Column 1 gives the country's identity 1 through 8. Column 2 gives the country's GDP as a fraction of GDP of country 9. What does that mean? Means GDP of country 1 divided by GDP of country 9 is equal to 0 0.15 or we can say 0 0.15 upon 1. So I can assume the GDP of country 9 as x or maybe 100x or maybe 100 or 1. I can assume anything here. And with respect to that, these will be the value. If I assume the GDP of country 9 as x, GDP of country 1 will be 0.15x. GDP of country 2 will be 0.14x. If I assume it as 100x, country 9's GDP, then country 1's GDP will be 15x, country 2's GDP will be 14x and so on. So what should we do? What value should we assume? Don't assume anything. Take it just as 1. In that case, you won't have to do anything with these values. You won't have to change it. You won't have to even take x. Column 3 gives the country's GDP per capita as a fraction of GDP per capita of country 10. Same thing. Here we will also assume that GDP of country 10, GDP per capita of country 10 is one unit. These will be the values of GDP per capita of these countries. Unless, unless GDP of country 9 and GDP per capita of country 10 is mentioned in the question, we don't have to worry about anything. Column 4 gives the country's annual GDP growth rate. Annual GDP growth rate. Then it says column 5 gives the country's annual per population growth rate. Now you must have noticed that these values are very small, right? So as these values. But these are the growth rates. These are population growth rate. Assume that GDP growth rates and population growth rates of the countries will remain constant for the next three years. Now, what does that mean? It means 24 to 25 to 26 to 27. If for country 1, the growth rate is given as 0.2%, then 25 to 26, again it will be 0.2% and 26 to 27, the growth rate in GDP of country 1 will also be 0.2%. Same thing is true for the population growth. Now, what do we do regarding the growth rate? If there are two consecutive growth rates of 10% and 10%, then we say that overall growth rate is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 upon 100. 
which is equal to 21%. So there is a change of 1% if we just add these two values. So even if you consider 1% <coughs> as a significant value, this 0 0.2%, 0 0.9%, 0 0.5%, and 0 0.49, 0 0.31%, these values will be even differ by more smaller value. So whenever I need to calculate, like if I need to calculate the total growth rate in the GDP of country 1 from 24 to 27, I can say it will be very close to 0.6%. A little bigger, but very, very close to 0.6%. इतना डिफरेंस होगा कि वो इतने क्लोज आंसर्स नहीं दिए जा सकते है ना सो वी डोंट नीड टू वरी अबाउट फाइंडिंग द सक्सेसिव परसेंटेज और मल्टीप्लाइंग दीस वैल्यूज वी कैन टेक द फ्लैट सम ओके नाउ लेट्स चेक द क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन 1 थ्रू 4 हैज बीन गिवन यू कैन ट्राई दीस क्वेश्चंस ऑन योर ओन चेक द कैलकुलेशन स्किल ओके एंड चेक द सॉल्यूशन दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग हियर Question one, it says which one among the countries one through eight has the smallest population in 2024? How do we find the population? So GDP per capita is GDP upon population. So can we say population will be equal to GDP divided by GDP per capita? What is GDP per capita? It's GDP upon population, so that will go into numerator, right? So, in four countries, country eight, GDP upon GDP per capita, seven upon 41, we can write it. In case of country three, 13 upon two. In case of country five, it will be 10 upon 36. And in case of country seven, it will be eight upon 36. Now we need to find the smallest population. So this, this value that you are seeing is just for the comparison. These are not the actual population, but this will give us, this will tell us which one is the smallest, which one has the smallest population or the largest population in year 2024. So let's compare it. 13 by 2, 10 by 36. Definitely 13 by 2 is bigger than this. Now, 13, 10 by 36, 8 by 30. I can make both of them as 40 upon 144. And I can make it as 40 upon 150. The numerator is bigger here. So, this is not the smallest. Now, if I compare these two, 40 upon 150, 7 upon 41. Can I say this value, 0 0.1 of 41 is... 4.1. So this value is even less than 0 0.2, but this value is greater than 0 0.2. So smallest is for country 8. The population is smallest for country 8 in 2024. Now, second question, the ratio of country 4's GDP to country 5's GDP in 2006 will be closest to in 2026. Country 4's GDP. GDP is 0 0.12, GDP growth rate is 0 0.5%, 24 to 25, 0.5%, 25 to 26, 0.5%. So the approximate change in population will be double of this, which is 1%. It will be a little bit more than 0, uh, one, more than 1%, but very close. So overall population, it will be 0 0.12 into 1.01. .01. For 1% increase, 1.01 is the multiplication factor, right? For country 5, it's 0 0.10 into 0 0.7 into 2, 1.4. So it will be 1.014. Now we need to find the ratio of these two. Now can I say that this value, overall this value will be less than 1, but very close to 1, right? And this value will be 1.2. This value is 1.2 and this value is less than 1. Can we say our value should be less than 1.2 but very close to it, right? 
तो आवर आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी 1.195 तो इफ आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट द एग्जैक्ट टू बी प्रिसाइज वैल्यू देन व्हाट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू फाइंड 0.12 इनटू 1 प्लस 0.5 इट वाज 0.5 राइट 0.5 percent square this will be country force gdp in 2026 in fraction of course with respect to country 9 and for country 5 it will be 0.10 1 plus 0.7 square but we don't need to do that this is sufficient okay options are always in comfortable gap that you can use approximation Question number three. It says which among the countries one, four, five, and seven, one, four, five, and seven will have the largest population in two thousand twenty-seven, two thousand twenty-seven. Largest population. So for country one, what will be the population in two thousand twenty-four? So again, fifteen upon forty-one, right? It will be fifteen upon forty-one, and the growth in population is minus zero point one two percent. So in three years, if I take approximate change, so triple of this, which is zero point three six percent, it will decrease by zero point three six percent. This value will decrease by zero point three six percent. By 2027, for country four it will be 12 upon 38, and this value will increase by now 0.49 into three is 1.47 percent. So this value will increase by 1.47 percent by 2027. For country five, 10 upon 36. and this value will increase by 0. Point, approximate 0.93% again i'm not taking the successive of all of these because that will be very close to this the sum we have already discussed this initially right because these values are very close avoid the successive and take the flat sum in case of country 7 it will be 8 upon 30 And this value will change by minus zero point three three percent by two thousand twenty seven. Now let's check which of these is the largest. So first, let's avoid these changes and let's compare these values. Okay. So what we can say, fifteen <coughs> upon forty one, twelve upon thirty eight. This value I can see is more than zero point three, and this value is also more than zero point three, but much bigger, right? This value ten by thirty six, eight by thirty. So if I compare these two values, numerator is bigger, denominator is also bigger, but the percent if I check the numerator, numerator plus three, this is plus three. If fraction is any fraction a by b is less than 1 then we say that a plus x upon b plus x will be greater than a by b where x is positive right we learned this in ratio proportion variation topic or during a uh, approximation also that if a by b is a fraction which is less than 1 then a plus x plus upon b plus x will be greater than a plus b Where x is greater than zero, so in that situation, 15 by 41 will be greater than 12 by 38. So we can remove this one. Now 10 by 36. What we can say about 10 by 36? This can be written as 30 upon 82. This will be 30 upon 108. The numerate denominator is bigger here. This will be bigger than this. Again, I am repeating. I am trying to make the numerator same to compare these two fractions. This will be thirty upon eighty-two. This will be thirty upon one zero eight. So denominator eighty-two, denominator one zero eight. So this will be smaller than this value. Big difference. 
in this case 8 by 30 what we can say 8 by 30 is uh, less than 0 0.3 right and this value is greater than 0 0.3 so definitely big difference now what can we do about these differences you can see the difference is even very close to 1% so whatever comparison we have done till now I don't think it will affect the actual result means the greatest is for country one right and in these kind of situation what we say is a smart guess right it's not a guess but smart being smart regarding your calculation okay be confident about your uh, answer your method okay so in this case our answer should be country one which is option b okay Question number four, it says for how many countries among country one through country eight will the GDP per capita in 2027 will be lower than that in 2024? So it says <coughs> GDP per capita. Now think about this. GDP per capita is GDP upon population, right? Now. In what cases we can say that this value will increase? So, if this value is increasing, this value is increasing, we cannot say anything. If this value is increasing, this value is decreasing throughout the years, we can definitely see that overall this ratio will increase, right? If this value is decreasing, this value is also decreasing we cannot say anything. If this value is decreasing and this value is increasing, we can say that this value will overall, this fraction will overall decrease. So how do you find that when it's, it will increase, right? So in this case, in these two cases where we are not certain, can I say, if this value is increasing by A percent and this value is increasing by B percent, if A is greater than B, then this will definitely increase. And in this case, this value is increasing by X percent, decreasing by X percent. This value is decreasing by Y percent. If X is decreasing lesser than, means if X is less than Y, then overall definitely this fraction will increase. So let's check this one by one. Country 1, growth rate, this is positive, this is negative, definitely it will increase. Country 2, GDP is, GDP is increasing, population is decreasing, overall GDP per capita will definitely increase. Ek second we need to think In this case, GDP is increasing by 6.5%. Population is also increasing by 0.7% per year. But this rate of increase is much bigger than this one. This is what we have talked about, this case. So here it will also increase. Now, in this case, 0 0.5, 0 0.49. Same thing, bigger growth than here. So it will increase. 0.7%, 0 0.31, 0 it will increase. 3.2, 0 0.61, it will definitely increase. Increase decrease definitely increase 1.2 0 0.7 so the gdp per capita is increasing for all the eight countries it says for how many countries among country one through country eight will the gdp per capita in 2027 will be lower than that in 2024 so none of them so our answer is zero right so, that was the last question of set. I hope you got to learn lots of calculation skill and will apply it while practicing. Thank you.